So you want free money? Let's talk SoFi minimum deposits. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of SoFi, an all-in-one finance app that's been making waves lately. They boast high-yield savings accounts, sleek checking features, and even investing options, all wrapped up in a user-friendly mobile app. Sounds pretty sweet, right? But before you jump in and download the app, there's one crucial question. How much money do I actually need to get started with SoFi? This might seem like a simple question, but trust me, it can get a little tricky. SoFi throws around terms like direct deposit and qualifying deposits, and it can be confusing to figure out exactly what you need in your wallet. Fear not, finance friends. We're here to break down SoFi's minimum deposit situation in a way that makes sense. First things first, let's clear the air. There is no minimum balance requirement to open a SoFi money account. That means you won't get slapped with any fees for having a low balance, which is a major plus compared to traditional banks. This flexibility is a big part of SoFi's appeal. You can sign up and start using their features without a hefty initial deposit. But here's the catch. While SoFi doesn't force you to maintain a minimum balance, there are definitely perks to keeping more money in your account or setting up specific deposit habits. This is where the whole direct deposit and qualifying deposits come into play. Let's talk about direct deposit first. If you set up your paycheck or any recurring deposit to go straight into your SoFi checking account, you automatically unlock some pretty awesome benefits. The biggest one? You'll snag their top interest rate on your savings balance, currently a whopping 4.6% APY, annual percentage yield. That's significantly higher than what most traditional banks offer, so it's a great way to make your money grow passively. Now, what about those qualifying deposits? This basically means making one or more deposits totaling $5,000 or more within a 30-day period. Similar to direct deposit, qualifying deposits also unlock the 4.6% APY on your savings. So, if you're someone who prefers to manage your money manually and doesn't want to mess with direct deposit, you can still score a high interest rate with a few strategic deposits. Here's the key takeaway. There's no minimum deposit required to open a SoFi money account, but to unlock the best interest rates on your savings, you'll either need to set up direct deposit or make qualifying deposits of at least $5,000 within a month. But wait, there's more. SoFi also throws in some cashback rewards on debit card purchases for members who meet their qualifying deposit or direct deposit requirements. We're talking earning cashback on everyday purchases, groceries, gas, the whole shebang. So, on top of the high yield savings, you're essentially getting rewarded for using your SoFi account. Not bad, right? So, what does this all mean for you? Ultimately, the decision depends on your financial situation and how you plan to use SoFi. If you're just looking for a basic checking and savings account with no frills, you can absolutely open a SoFi money account with any amount of money. But if you want to maximize your earnings and unlock all the cool features, setting up direct deposit or making those qualifying deposits is the way to go. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.